Morreu um rei Salve o rei que vai chegar Não sei sofrer, não sei chorar Eu sei me conformar There's such a deep connection between music, any kind of music really. And I think working with the musicians that I worked with and the producer and everything, we found the common ground. And it's not about being loud or soft or fast or slow, it's about finding the story and connecting it. And I think the voice, because it's so human, I think connects all the stories anyway. We think the same and the, the, we like the same ideas, musically yeah. speaking, and as friends also, it's yeah. very easy, we, we love each other. Uh, I mean, she has a beautiful family and my family goes very well uh, along with her family and, uh, and we are good friends for many years. And this comes to music. It's interesting because I think we have such an affinity musically. Yeah. Because we both approach music from jazz. Even though we're doing Brazilian music 90% of the time, the language that we use to get to where we're going is always jazz, it's always improvised. You know, we know the music, we know the melody, we know the lyrics, but we don't know, you know what I mean, kind of how we're going to get there, and we get there somehow. And it's through jazz, it's because Romero is so educated in jazz, he's an improviser. So he's playing the chords, but it's his own way, and every night it's different. We know the song and we know we're going to tell that story, but the story becomes different because of what he brings. Every night is different. And for me, it's interesting because I can't sing the same way. Even if I try, I try to like, okay, I'm going to sing Corcovado. It's a song everybody knows. But something he does on the guitar, a chord, a tempo, he doesn't play something. It's not sometimes always what he plays, it's what he doesn't play. And I expect, and then I'm, I'm surprised, and then that makes me change. So that's, that's jazz to me, that's not knowing, that's interacting, that takes a lot of listening. And I can only really do this with him. I do it with other people, but it's very, very, very different. And then I think the rhythmic connection that we have, that's oh, so yeah. strong. That's we both, strong. we love rhythm, we live for rhythm. Of course, we love harmony and melody and everything else, but it's really, I think we connect deeply in terms of rhythm. So that makes, it makes it so easy, you know. The music for me was classical music. Uh, Brazilian music that time was bossa nova, very much in the 60s. And, and uh, I used to love those rock and roll players and jazz players in the West Montgomery. So I used to, to listen to everything at the same time, you know, and it was for me music. It's very hard for me to label this or this or this. Like when we play together, like she said, this jazz because it's improvisations. We create the stuff every second. I can't, I can't blink on the stage because otherwise you, you lose a moment to create something. Yeah. And that's a fantastic thing. Bossa now is very important, but everything around was also uh, what makes us what we are today. I think what Romero said, you know, I keep listening to things that are old. I love old, old music, you know, and, uh, and I'm sort of a traditionalist that way. But if people put anything that they're listening to, you know, I teach younger singers and musicians and they bring in music and I listen to it and I'm like, oh my God, I love this, you know, so I, you know, I love Radiohead, I love, you know, all kinds of things, and I've, I, as much as I love Bob Dylan, Bob Dylan Now, or Paul McCartney has a new record out, whatever it is, it's good and I love it. It was lovely. My husband, uh, Larry Klein, was producing the record, so it was an invitation that came almost through family in a way. Uh, you know, I was close to them at the production, and, uh, and Herbie just said one day, do you want to try singing this one? And I said, sure. So I tried it, and 
We did it, and it was absolutely gorgeous. I mean, it's Vinny Colaiuta, it's Dave Holland, uh, Wayne Shorter. It, you know, it just doesn't get any better than that. And what they would do is, right before playing the song, they would read the words. Because Joni Mitchell's music is, of course, about music, but it's also about the story that she tells. So they would have discussions and conversations about the words. And for me, it was just incredible. Um, you know, what came out of it for me is that these players are so evolved, so mature in their playing. They don't have to play anything anymore. They've played every note they could have played in their lives. So it's really about how they connect to, to each other and to the song. And for me, it was a great lesson. The whole record, I think, and I think that's why it was so successful, that record, and continues to be. It's because it's, the music is sublime. Joni Mitchell's music is divine and wonderful. But, you know, all these different voices of singers, but the instrumentalists are really what brought that music together, their maturity, their way of telling Joni's stories. Bem que ele diz, olha esse embrulhado onde eu vou me meter Agora, amor, Doralice, meu bem, como é que nós vamos fazer? Doralice, eu bem que ele disse, amar a tolice é bobagem, ilusão Eu prefiro viver tão sozinho, ao som do lamento do meu violão Doralice, eu bem que ele disse, olha esse embrulhado onde eu vou me meter We breathe together on the stage and, and we understand each beat of the, this, the music and everything that he invents, she goes after me, or uh, she invents and I go after her, is really fantastic. And I play with my trio, three with our pies, and I play a lot with Diane Reeves. I was here 10 days ago in this city playing with her. And, but um, like she said, this two weeks is this, and this is fantastic. I think I can say that both Romero and I have had the privilege and the honor really of playing. I mean, I've worked with Paul Simon and James Taylor, I mean, everybody, and in classical music, many different orchestras in the world, including in Europe, and great conductors. But it really comes down to what you're doing at the moment. You know, this is the project, this is, this is how I'm expressing myself today and for the next two weeks, and it becomes the most important thing. So the dream is to be able to do it as we did tonight, to a beautiful audience, a generous audience that comes to listen, they really unzip themselves, you know, and they come and they receive you, and you receive them. And that to me is, that's, that's the dream, that's my dream. Ballonera, hera, 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 hera.